Good afternoon, YouTube. All right. Let's see if you guys notice anything different. Nothing, something, not yet. Give you a hint, it's the front stop sign. Anything look strange about the top light? If you guessed LEDs, you're correct. Now, I found these buses use an 1156 DC bulb, which is this right here for their stop arms. So it's an 1156, so you notice the pins are not offset like an 1157, which is the dual filament um, brake and tail light bulb. But it has two pins on the bottom just like an 1157. The way these work, these actually were marine bulbs before uh, becoming school bus bulbs. Instead of both your pins on the bottom being uh, positives for the different filaments and, the, and it grounding through the base like a normal car light bulb does, since the stop arms, you know, were... They are aluminum, but they don't ground very well. So I see why they did it. One of those pins is a ground and the other one's positive. So I was able to find these guys right here and they're an exact match. They are a dual pin, pull one out. These are red LEDs. So they have dual pins on the bottom. One's hot, one's, uh, one's positive, one's negative, hot, cold. And they look pretty damn good. It's really hard to tell. The LED is just a smidge dimmer than the uh, the actual uh, incandescent bulb. But they look really freaking awesome. So anyway, I'm going to change these out real quick. And then um, if I've got time, it is starting to rain a little bit. I have the new decal for the outside of the back stop arm. If I can rig the phone up, I will show you guys how to install these. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so I've got all the red off of this stop arm. I've got the new decal here. These guys come cut as a square or screen printed onto a square. So I'm just trying to get it, you know, pretty close to where it needs to be, which this is going to be about it. It may have a wider border on the right. And uh, now it's going to have about a good uniform border. Okay, so there's the edge of the border there. This edge is going to be right along pretty much where I cut this guy. So that's perfect. So luckily I have these clips here from the Thomas to hold it on. Um, I tried to get this as clean as I possibly could because you're supposed to put the 3M stuff on clean uh, aluminum. I ran out of uh, brake clean, but this should be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the backing, and I do apologize for, this is hard to do one-handed. Let me peel the backing. Let me set the phone down for a second. Now I did road signs back my first year, my first summer driving bus. I did them for a, the county. Okay, so what I've done is something we used to do back then. I've peeled the backing back to about the P. And I'm gonna do one further than that. I'm gonna cut it. So I have my knife here. And I do apologize that I can't, I don't have my a good tripod with me. So y'all are just gonna have to kinda just bear with me. So I am cutting the backing with my knife here. Trying to anyway. It'd be better if I had a pair of scissors, but I don't. So okay. So I have cut the backing so that it won't get stuck under there really easily. And I'm going to carefully press the decal onto the aluminum like so. So it's sticking now to the aluminum. And I could probably fold the sign in the rest of the way, but I'm not going to for now. Okay, let me transfer this guy to the edge. 
and this guy here. So I'll have my two decals or uh, two clips on the edge. And I'm going to go back through to the other side and find where my backing is pulled off. And I'll pull it back. almost have it all pulled back. Now this is 3M uh, engineer grade prismatic. I'm normally a big fan of the uh, high intensity. This is pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel the backing back some more. And I'm just going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this one-handed. I'm just going to sit here and I'm gonna run my hand up and down the decal and I'm going to pause it for now so I can get this done because I can't do this one handed and it's starting to rain. All right, and here's our final result. Now I had to cut uh, through here and that kind of turned out crappy, but that's okay. I can get a good fender washer or something to stick over that. But there you go. And then after you're done, you just take your knife and you find the edge wherever the edge may be. This side's kind of hard. I can go over here. <laughs> so there's the edge right there. Just like that. And you, see you just kind of go through and you cut. You know, make sure you have a sharp blade too. And this blade is a little bit dull. Maybe not. We'll try going from the down up. There we go. And you just cut the material away, like so. Just like that, and then you get a nice smooth edge. Anyway, that's how you do the stop arms. Thanks for watching. Alright, as you guys can see, it is raining a little bit, but there we go. Those LEDs on that rear stop arm just look super. Holy moly, they look great. Granted, it is a little dark out right now, and I do apologize, the bus is freaking filthy. But, let's go around the back there, there's old Thomas. Yeah, that just looks really, really, really cool. I am so glad that we did that, so. Now, I also added the white bar in there to emulate what the uh, regular uh, winglet does. And yeah, the new, uh, that new decal looks good. Just the instant on off of the uh, LEDs and those stop arms looks really freaking good. So, and if you remember me griping about my parking brake lever, snag this at the junkyard and it's adjustable so if I twist the knob you see it moving maybe maybe not kind of hard to but yes it, it is adjustable so that will be changing out very soon that's out of a 90 uh, 98 or 99 bluebird 3800 that was scrapped it was in pretty rough shape um, I did repaint it that's why it looks so nice um, but it was it was in pretty rough shape when uh, when I got to that bus it had uh, had a 444 and a 545 originally. There was no hood, no radiator, no motor, and transmission. It was all gone. But anyway, that's coming soon to replace that guy. Thanks for watching, guys.